Now, I really like making a midweek meal. Something tasty, but fulfilling, and sets you up for work the next day. But that's not for me, of course, I'm retired. Uh, so sit back and watch this video because tonight I'm gonna make for you a chicken chasseur. Very tasty, it sounds very posh, doesn't it? Very French. So um, let's carry on. Now here we have the ingredients for tonight's recipe. We have some butter for cooking, some chopped tomatoes, two large ones, some mushrooms that I'm going to chop, potatoes for the mash, chicken portions, I'm gonna cut those in half so they're drumsticks and thighs, garlic, about four cloves, onions, about two, chopped, a glass of white wine, there we have some parsley, salt and black pepper, and some chicken stock. So let's carry on, shall we? Now firstly, I'm going to brown off the uh, chicken portions and get some nice colour on them. So we need a pan on the hob, obviously, and a drop of cooking oil. And in they go. So now these have got a nice bit of colour on, as you can see, we can take these and put them into a roasting tray. Like so. Then these can go into the oven, gas mark six for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes until they're cooked right through. Onto the hob with another pan. To this we add some cooking oil and our chopped onions. Then after about five minutes, you can see that the onions have softened down quite a bit. We can go in with the mushrooms. There's about 250 grams. Followed by the garlic. After about five or 10 minutes, we can add the tomatoes. And the parsley. And our chicken stock. A little bit of seasoning. And a large pinch of sugar. Then, last but not least, the most important part, in that goes, and we can leave that to cook away. Then we bring this to the boil and let it cook down for about 15 to 30 minutes. Now when this mixture is reduced by about half, we can mix it down with a stick blender. Oh God. We can mix it down with a stick blender. Okay, so that's pretty good like that. Just give it a little taste. Ow, it's a bit hot. Well, that's really flavoursome. Now we can mash the potatoes using loads of butter, real butter. Don't use anything else, just real butter. You enjoyed this latest video of mine I enjoyed making it and I enjoyed eating it at the end so uh, please try it for yourself chicken chasseur sounds lovely anyway um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and leave any comments down below oh and don't forget give me a like please and uh, I'll see you again next time for my next video in my kitchen just here